Today we will be going over video 1 in section 2, creating content and adding collections. Specifically, we will be going over template inclusions and when to use them, using an each helper or loop to be able to go over our data collection, and we will be using various other types of template helpers along the way. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to deal with is our toolbar that we created in our last video. So this particular toolbar right here, you can see there's quite a bit of code inside of here, and we're going to use a template inclusion. So we're going to go ahead and copy that into our clipboard, and then we're going to put in a template inclusion. And this is how you put in a template inclusion with a caret, and then the name of what your template is going to be. In this case, we're going to use the word toolbar. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're now going to go create a new file inside of client, uh, tmpl-toolbar.html, and we will paste this content from the toolbar, and we'll wrap it inside of a template tag. So we'll go ahead and put in here template, make sure we spell it correctly, name equals toolbar, which was the name that we used before. And make sure we close that tag off, put it in the correct location. There we go. All right, and now we're refreshing our page and saved our changes, and you can see that it looks exactly the same. Even though in our side of our HTML, in our main HTML page, we have a template inclusion. I'm now gonna go ahead and create another one, and this is for our content. So we're gonna go ahead and put in snippets. This is what we're gonna call the body of our main page, where we're gonna be able to see the content from our snippets library. So we're gonna create that. We're gonna create a new file called tmpl.snippets.html. We are going to name the template, of course, snippets, because that's what our template inclusion was referring to. Inside of here, we're going to go ahead and make a div container, class type container, and that's just kind of centered on the page nicely. Now we're going to use an each loop. Now this each loop is going to go over the snippets array or the snippets collection. And anything that's inside of this snippets collection, inside of this little each helper here, is going to be displayed as an individual line. So here in this case, we're creating a div with a class of snippet. And we're going to use another helper inside of here. And this is just a pointer to a property inside of there. You notice we use the word text. Now, we don't see anything here on the page per se, but as we go in here and we take a look at it, you can see that the container is created. So even though we don't have anything inside of our collection, we have that new container. So we can tell that everything's working correctly. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to be able to see uh, where our snippets are. We do have one snippet in there, so why is it not displaying? Let's go ahead and make the changes that we need to make here. First thing we need to do is we need to publish this. And remember we took out the auto publish package, so we need to make sure that we publish this. So we're going to do meteor.publish and we're just going to publish snippets and we're going to return the cursor. That means we're going to put in snippets.find just like that. That's going to return a cursor to our client. So it's going to publish or broadcast out that on the snippets channel. So inside of the client, under client.js, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to type in meteor.subscribe, and we're going to subscribe to snippets. And that's it. So now our collection is available inside of the client. And we'll see that in just a minute here. Notice the snippets and snippets channel are the exact same. And we have inside of there uh, the publish function. Let's go ahead and change those to single quotations instead. But now on the client, when we do a snippets find, one, we can see that we have that record inside of there. Okay, so we're just one step away from getting that to display up inside of here, inside of the snippets uh, templates. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll switch back over to our editor. And inside of our editor, we're going to make a new file. And this is where we're going to create some template helpers. Okay, so we're going to call it tmpl-snippets.js. And we're going to go ahead and put in template, the name of our template, which is snippets.helpers. And we're going to declare different helpers here. And remember, we're doing an each on the word snippets. So it, it's looking for a snippets collection with a lowercase s. So we're going to create that right now as one of our helpers, snippets. I'm going to create a function. And inside of this function, we are going to just return a big snippets, that's the collection, find, fetch. And what that's going to do is anytime that there's a change, that will run again. 
so that the snippets collection will be automatically updated and therefore our template will be updated. And there we go. Our first snippet is applied there. Let's go ahead and add a couple more snippets uh, just using the command line here. So we'll go snippets.insert. Text and I am your second snippet. Go ahead and run that and instantly, once we hit enter here, there it is. There's our second snippet. So let's go ahead and open up the elements and take a look here. You can see that we have a div class snippet and a div class snippet, one for the first and one for the second that we've added. And this is, corresponds directly to our template that we created with our each snippets. And you'll notice that we're using the text helper inside of there to display the text that we added to our snippet. Okay, nice and easy. Let's add one more snippet just for good measure. I'll go ahead and uh, do a snippets insert. I am your third snippet. And just like that, we've added to the collection and added a new snippet. So we use template inclusions, including for our toolbar and also for our snippets template inclusions to be able to cleanly separate out our code into different files, being able to create those templates nice and clean, very easy to manage. We used an each iterator uh, inside of one of our templates, inside of our snippets template, to be able to go over the snippets collection and add a div for uh, each new element that's added to the page automatically. And of course, we use some template helpers. Uh, we initially used default template helper for the text to be able to add the text in. And then we also used a template helper to create that collections array or that iteration so that every time that there is a new change, then the uh, collection gets updated and our templates get updated as well. So our next video is going to be adding content through user input. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you then.